Hi, it's John. It's the 2nd of August, oh, about uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, something like that. And I've just come down the kitchen garden allotment just to see if there's any spinach down here or anything. I noticed this uh, moth. I think it's a magpie moth. Um, not very rare, but quite colourful. Um, you know, colourful things do attract, don't they? I don't know much about it. Um, I know nothing about it, except that it's not that rare. I remember last time I came down here, there was a garden tiger moth down here. Now that was quite rare. But um, this one's, uh, well, it's nice. He reminds me of the, um, the Vulcan bomber, the Delta Wings. He looks pretty well set there. You know, he's, he's not going to be flying away, I don't think. Um, and obviously we're just seeing part of the wings. The top wings and the under wings are um, covered over. I suppose I could just give him a bit of a nudge with a piece of grass. See what, uh, see what, uh, see what he would do, and see whether he'd show us the rest of his wings. As long as nobody reports me to the RSPC. Hey, hello. Oh, well, that wasn't very. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's better. That's better. But I've got some, uh, got some grass in front of it. Move that grass. This is getting complicated. Oh yes, that's much better. What I've got to do is find it. There it is. Now we can see him in a bit more of his glory. He's a bit like a tiger, isn't he? Yellow and black. But I think it's a magpie moth. I'm, I'm happy to be corrected if anybody uh, knows more than me. Now, the difference between a moth and a butterfly is the antennae tend to be feathery with a moth. And with a uh, butterfly, they, they have like a thing on the end, which is like an eye on the end, a blob. It's sort of like some sort of feeler thing that... Uh, they can actually sense with in some way. Right, bye for now.